Okay, so all is lost. Pretty much think of gravity plus life of pi without the tiger, without space, and without dialogue. That's your movie. All is Lost is written and directed by J.C. Chander and stars Robert Redford, and that's it. All is Lost is one of those survival movies, think, you know, 127 hours, uh, open water, even gravity. But this one makes things feel like super personal and super, I wouldn't say slice of life, but it really does focus on like the, every little move that the main character makes. So this really essentially is a movie about a sailor played by Robert Redford who's lost at sea, and bad stuff starts to happen to him, he has to find a way to survive and somehow, you know, get help or get the land or something. And what you get here is like a director who has so much control over everything, an actor who has so much control over not acting, if that makes sense. And it's just like a really focused movie that ends up being so excellent, despite inevitable boring parts that come with the whole, you know, looking at, you know, small details and stuff. But really, this movie is something else. It's really, really great. First of all, let's talk about the acting from Robert Redford because this is really like his movie. The, uh, his performance here is just, it's like the complete opposite of what you would expect a mega star like Robert Redford to be doing. This role has absolutely no glamour, it feels super real, it's like he has no makeup on for like most of the movie and that sounds like a petty thing but that actually is like a big deal. This movie really does ride completely on Robert Redford's performance and he nails it so well to the point that while you're watching the movie you begin to feel as fatigued as him, you begin to feel thirsty. This character Robert Redford plays like has no name and you do kind of start feeling like you're watching Robert Redford who happened to be lost at sea but I don't think it's a bad thing really because again it really does not feel like he's acting here like there are certain scenes like I, there's not, it's not like there's zero dialogue there's like a monologue at the start and then there's he says some things like the, you know the occasional swear word but really just even like in the delivery of his lines it's just so it's so natural it's just I can't really describe it like there's a scene where he's calling for help that's not a spoiler but there's a scene where he's shouting hey over here over here and it's not like you know the dramatic over here over here it's like the dude's tired, and it's like, he's just going over here, hey, over here, oh my god, over here. And it's just, I was, I was really surprised about the direction the movie took. The fact that, you know, they really were super committed to making this feel as absolutely real as possible. After a while, it really does start to feel like you're at sea, and that's, that's also a testament kind of to, like, the, the production design of, you know, the, whatever production design you could fit into this movie, like the boat and the life, lifeboat and stuff. But really, I think I saw some uh, behind-the-scenes footage, and they were just kind of filming in like one big, uh, you know, pool of water or something like that. But during this movie, you really feel like they sh they went out in the middle of the ocean and just filmed there. J. C. Chander has proven to be like a really, really great director. But here, the fact that he's limited to such a small space, you know, just you know, boat and the immediate vicinity, like the water around Robert Redford's character, he always finds a way to make it feel interesting. It like never feels repetitive, you know, shots never feel like they've been done before. The fact that it's committed to, you know, presenting things in such a real way is admirable, but when you do that, you really will get parts that feel like they didn't have to be there. I know some people might argue that, you know, that's the point and stuff, but the fact that this movie kind of makes dramatic turns near the end and at the start so you have dramatic parts in this, so that immediately gives the viewer the impression that, you know, this isn't, like, completely real. So having those completely real parts in there of him, you know, just doing something kind of boring, it's not... It really does feel like it doesn't have to be there. I mean, this is still a narrative. You do kind of have to keep things going. And even if it's, like, a really simple story, it doesn't mean, you know, parts that are extraneous have to be there. So I did feel that way, honestly. But everything else about this movie is just super top-notch. Like, seriously, J.C. Chandler's directing is amazing, Robert Redford's acting is amazing, even, like, on the level of sound, this movie is really good. Like, the sound editing, just, you know, sound effects of rain and stuff, like, when there's a storm, it actually feels like it's raining inside the theater, which was really, really scary, actually. Interesting to note that the score won Best Score at the Golden Globes, and I don't... I th it's a good score, but I don't think it really deserves a win, because there's not a lot of it in the movie. It only comes up during very key scenes. And what I like about the score is that it starts out very, very uh, subtle and stuff. But as the movie keeps going, the, movie, the score starts to get more powerful and you really feel it intensify, but not in an overbearing sense. In the end, All This Lost is really a testament to like, low-budget filmmaking, you know? Because it really is about heart. It's really about survival, you know? Like, 
you know, about not giving up despite the circumstances and really just carrying on. And this movie really does grow on you, like the more you watch it and the more you get used to the fact that, you know, it's, it is slow, but that's not bad. But I promise you, like, if you really commit yourself to watching this movie, by the end, you will be so emotionally invested. And I was, really, I was sh pretty much shouting at the screen, like, oh my god, oh my god, make it. So yes, All Is Lost is an awesome, awesome movie. Have you guys seen it? Like, if you have or if you haven't, I don't know if you agree or disagree with me. Please leave a comment and let's have a conversation.